Hey everyone, so I know I'm looking super festive. It's because I'm doing the Tis the Season tag and I just wanted to dress up really festive since it's a festive tag and I would never normally wear this much red, but you know, that's kind of the colors of Christmas. So before I get into it, I wanted to show you guys my nails. So I posted a picture on Twitter if you guys want to go see that. It's just red with white polka dots and then it has a little Rudolph right there. So it's super cute and I think they turned out really well. Let's get onto the tag. So you know how I do it. I can never just pick one or two items to show when it asks like choose one item or choose two items. So I have a few different items to show you guys which are all kind of my essentials but um, I would totally be able to pick more but I narrowed it down. So the first one is my EOS lip balm. This is in Summer Fruit. I do have melon and what was this? Sweet mint but those are in some of my purses. And this one was just laying out conveniently so decided to show you guys this one. My second essential is a really good hand cream. This hand cream is amazing. It makes your hands feel so silky smooth. I just love it. It's 20% pure shea butter and it's just amazing for the winter. The third thing is a body butter. I'm obsessed with body butters. Honestly, like I will choose a body butter over a lotion any day, but this one smells delicious. It doesn't have any type of like, um, what's it called? Like a holiday scent. It's literally like a summer scent, but it smells so good. It's Sweet Pink Grapefruit and it's by Sodi Naturals and I'm actually going to do a whole video talking about Sodi Naturals so just stay tuned for that in the near future. But this body butter smells absolutely amazing. <sighs> it smells so good and that's just what it looks like. It's a very frothy consistency and it's just white and it smells so good like I said. It makes your skin so soft and it's definitely an essential for winter and I actually just applied it earlier today and my skin's still so smooth. So this is an amazing body butter and like I said, I'll do a whole video talking about this company. And my other essential, which is like really not necessary, but it's an essential for me, kind of, um, is self tanner. I love being tanned and I just feel better when I'm tanned and obviously in the winter I'm a lot more paler than I'm in the summer so I gotta keep it up with some self tanner this is the million dollar tan tan I absolutely love this self tanner honestly guys this is the bomb it is so good mine's in tan icon extreme so it is the darkest one and it comes with this little brush thingy so this is just how you apply it to your skin it is amazing literally I have like none left though I probably have enough to just do like one arm which really sucks because I love the self tanner so much it's so good I would definitely have to say leg warmers. I have so many different colors. I absolutely love wearing leg warmers. I'm actually wearing some right now. I'm wearing a black pair, but yes, leg warmers are like my favorite thing in the winter. I wear them all the time. My other fashion essential though would have to be like oversized like sweaters that kind of like hang over the shoulder or just anything really big kind of oversized that you just wear with leggings. I absolutely love those as well. these bad boys right here. I seriously live in Uggs like in the winter. I obviously wear other shoes as well but on like a daily basis I wear my Uggs. I would definitely have to say scarves. I just think they're so cozy and I love them. This one is just like really big and it's kind of like a navy dark gray black on one side and then um, like a gray on the other side. I absolutely love scarves and they're super cozy. So just like everything else, I couldn't pick just one favorite nail polish, so I'm going to show you a few different ones. The first one is just this gorgeous taupe color. I wear this all the time. It is OPI over the taupe, and it's actually what I used to do the little reindeer body, and it's a really good polish. The second one would be this dark kind of plum color, and this one is called William Tell Me About OPI. And it's just a very gorgeous color. When it's on your nails, it almost looks kind of black, but then it has that purple sheen to it. It's very pretty. Then I would have to say this OPI one. This was probably my most worn nail polish last Christmas. And this is my big break, and it's so beautiful. It's kind of like a plummy color, but then it has a like gold and orange like shine to it. It's so beautiful when it's on your nails. It just reflects all this different color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then of course you need your red nail polish, and I have this exact color on my nails today. Um, the brand is B, I don't know. It's just like B-E and then like an exclamation mark in it. Um, I actually got this at my beauty school, so 
I'm not sure where you could buy these. Um, they were just like in our class. And we used them when we were doing like the nail portion of the course, but um, me and a few girls took them home because, yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, this one is called Her Majesty, which I don't even know if that matters because I really don't know where you could get these, but it's just a really gorgeous red color. It's not a cream finish. It definitely has a really, you know, vibrant sheen to it. It's so beautiful. And like I said, I'm wearing the red on my nails is this color. Or you could even check out my candy cane tutorial, which I already have up. Um, I use this color, so you'll see it kind of in action what it looks like. I absolutely love putting glitter top coats on my nails in the holiday season, New Year's and stuff like that. So this is the SD Lux Effects in Set in Stones. I hauled this in one of my like old old videos. I love it and um, yeah it's so beautiful. I would say hot cocoa just because I never drink apple cider. I've had it before but I just don't drink it ever. So hot cocoa. Snowboarding. Yes, I love ice skating. And I don't know, I guess I'm decent at it. I used to take figure skating lessons when I was really young, but um, yeah, that doesn't even matter because you can't really tell. But I don't know, I don't fail miserably. Well, the first time I go on the ice every year, I kind of fail miserably, but then I get better and better. And then, like, the next year, I fail miserably again, and then I get better. And then it just kind of like a repetitive thing. But I don't know. I could skate. Yes, I live in Canada, so we get a ton of snow. Um, actually, there's no snow right now, but we definitely get hit with snow. Yes, I used to make snowmen all the time when I was little. I celebrate Christmas. I don't really have a favorite song. I just love Christmas music. It just makes me so happy when I'm like walking down the mall or something and they're playing any type of Christmas music. It just makes me so like jolly and giddy and I feel like a little kid, but I just love it. So I don't really have like a specific Christmas song that I could think of at the top of my head, but play any Christmas song to me and I'll just be like, yeah. I love all Christmas movies. I love The Grinch. I like Santa Claus, like all three of them. Um, I like Deck the Halls, what else? I don't know, like Miracle on 34th Street, I know that's like an old movie, but I still like it. I like the Family Stone. I even like those Disney Christmas movies, like the Ultimate Christmas Gift, I think that's what it's called, or Ultimate Christmas Present, one of those names. Every Christmas I tend to make those, you know those like really thick stick pretzels, and then like you dip them in chocolate, like Starbucks sells them and stuff. I make those and I crush up like candy canes on top and um, different stuff, so those are really good. If I had to choose just one though, I would definitely say cheesecake lollipops because they're like absolutely delicious. Once I have one, I can't just stop there, like I need to have like a second and a third and like a fourth. Last question! Me and my fiance have like an annual tradition like every Christmas we just take like a stroll through the park with like Christmas lights and it's like really nice when it's like lightly snowing it's just like romantic. On Christmas Eve I go to my fiance's house and like his whole family gets together and we have like Christmas Eve there and then Christmas Day is at my house. So those are like our biggest plans then Boxing Day which is the 26th we just go shopping and it gets really crazy because like the roads are packed, the um, parking lot is packed. The malls are packed, you can't try on clothes because like the change rooms are like closed or too busy to even go into. So it's just like a crazy little trip, but I have to go every year, even if I don't buy anything because you can't pay because there's just way too many people in line. I still have to go because I just can't skip Boxing Day. Who does that? So those are all the questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little festive tag. I had so much fun filming it. So if you guys want to do this tag video, I'll definitely tag you guys. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tag anyone specific because I don't know who's like done it yet. Um, yeah, because it's been around for a while. But if you guys want to do this tag, feel free to do it. And I'll talk to you very soon.